this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video, we will crochet the stained glass throw, and uh, it was inspired by the colorful yarn from Lion Brand. Uh, it is called Landscapes. So, if you'd like to get the same effects, I recommend using this yarn. Um, for this throw, I used five balls uh, one of them has 147 yards in 800 grams the yarn weight is medium size 4 and it is 100% acrylic and it matches well with white so this is what I chose for my contrast color and um, it uh, doesn't matter which yarn you're using just as long as it's the same weight uh, medium size 4 and this pattern is really easy to we start here in the middle making the small square and then just adding rounds the colors are changing and it's really nice to work on to see the new colors on each round so this throw is going to be a big square. I finished it with uh, 21 rounds of the colorful yarn, uh, 21 rounds of white color and then added one more round white for the border. And my throw measures about 41 inches on each side. And starting with main color yarn, we'll make the magic ring first. So we'll take the yarn and tail facing downwards, place it across your fingers, then make a cross around your index finger. Now insert hook under that upper first strand here and then pull that second one through take the finger out and yarn over make your first stitch so i will count this as my first chain now i chain three more these first four chains count as triple crochet stitch then double crochet three in the ring One, two three and now triple crochet in the ring one stitch so yarn over twice Again, three double crochets. Two and three. And one triple crochet. Three more double crochets. Three, one more triple crochet. And three more double crochets. Before I join this in that uh, first, uh, the fourth beginning chain, I will tighten the ring pulling the beginning tail. All the way close. 
closed. Then I will make slip knot with my contrast color so that I can join it for the second round. And how I join it, insert hook back through that marking loop of your first color. Then count that fourth beginning chain, insert hook through. Then insert hook through the slip knot of second color and pull it through the loops and hook. From here we can start the second round with second color and these this will be uh, single crochet stitches chain one that doesn't count as a stitch in that same stitch where we joined the second yarn single crochet two And then single crochet in next three stitches one two three here's our next triple crochet in this stitch we'll make three single crochets one two and three as you also noticed I didn't cut off my first color yarn we will continue with that on the third round. So after corner three single crochets, make one single crochet in each next three stitches. Here's the next triple crochet. This is the corner. Make three single crochets in it. Three. Then again, one in each next three. Is the corner and last three one two three and because the corner has three single crochets we started with two I have to make one more single crochet here to finish this round I want to Tighten this first color a little bit here. Insert hook in that same stitch where you did the first two single crochets, but we want to finish this last stitch with our first color yarn. So bring it back up here. Leave the second color on the back yarn over with first color and pull it through the loops and hook you can tighten that white yarn on the back now i will finish it the round slip stitch in that first single crochet we can start third round with our main color And now in corners we make five double crochets, but we start each round with three double crochets, first of which is three chains. So chain three, this is first double crochet. In the same stitch, double crochet two more, one, two. Now we have here one, two, three, four, five stitches before the next corner. Double crochet one in each. Two, three, four, and five. And in this next corner stitch, this is the middle of the three we made here. Now make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five.
five. Now again, one in each next five. Right. Two. Three. Four. Five. Here's the corner stitch. Make five double crochets in it. And now repeat five double crochets here, five in a corner stitch, then five here. Let's finish this round together. And to finish, we have to make two more double crochets here to complete this corner since we started with three double crochets. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna insert my hook here in this space right next to that beginning chain make the first double crochet for the second and last one we're going to join back our second color so i'm going to yarn over insert hook through that stitch now grab your second color yarn on the back then yarn over with both of them and pull them both through Yarn over both, pull through them, the first two loops on hook. And now I will leave the main color on the back and yarn over only with the second color, my white, and pull it through the last two loops. So first two loops we pull with both colors and the next two loops we pull with second color and now I will slip stitch in a beginning third chain we're ready to start fourth round this is where we will do the drop double crochet stitches start with chain and again as on that, this round here, first single crochet two in the same stitch. And the way we start counting now stitches is always after the corner single crochets, we'll do four single crochets, one in each next, two, three, and four. And now comes the drop double crochet stitch, long double crochet. So it's easy, yarn over and instead of inserting hook here for the usual double crochet, you insert hook under that double crochet on previous round in the space under that stitch. And then pull up long loop all the way up to your current row round yarn over and then you complete double crochet as usual pull through first two loops yarn over pull through next two loops this is the drop stitch then four single crochets one in each next three four Here's our corner double crochet. That's the middle of the five. We make three single crochets. Two and three. And again, after the corner, count four. One, two, three, four. And a drop double crochet stitch so this is the one here and the space we insert hook in space under that one pull up longer loop yarn over pull through first two loops 
yarn over both through next two loops then so we always skip this one also here we don't stitch in this one it's under this long double crochet next stitch is here and make four single crochets three and four and here again next is the corner stitch make three in it so repeat this make four single crochets the long double crochet four single crochets and corner three single crochets and again let's finish the rounds together how to join the main color and we finish this round with one more single crochet in a beginning space since we started with two so insert hook in a beginning space pull up loop and now leave that yarn on the back here bring up your main color yarn over and pull through with that now slip stitch here the beginning single crochet is kind of on the back here now so slip stitch in it so here we can start the fifth round and we start the same with three chains this is the first double crochet and two more double crochets in same space, uh, stitch and now we double crochet one in each of these including that long one just double crochets in each until you get to that next corner stitch here middle of the three in the corner stitch again make five double crochets two three four five and then double crochet in each stitch until the next corner and again five in corner stitch repeat and again we'll finish the round together and if you want to count you have 11 stitches on this round between the corner corner stitches so i did 11 here last side and now two more double crochets to finish and again I'm going to insert my hook here next to in a space next to this beginning chain so do the first one and with the second one we're gonna to again join the uh, second color so on the back hold them together and pull them both through yarn over with both pull them both through first two loops then drop your main color hold the second yarn over with that pull through last two loops then slip stitch in a beginning third chain so this way the loops on the back 
are not gonna be too long and it just looks nicer and six round starts the same chain one and single crochet two in same stitch and again here this is the first double crochet we have to single crochet in again count now four one two three four and next is going to be the drop double crochet yarn over this is the next stitch I will insert hook in space under it pull up long loop and finish double crochet as usual now um, between the drop stitches single crochet five one two three four five and again drop stitch in space under the next double crochet so two drop stitches on each side on this round as the second one will and before corner we count four single crochets two three four and then single crochet three in corner stitch two, three and repeat first make four then drop double crochet then five Second drop double crochet and four three for the corner repeat do the, let's finish the round together again to switch the colors and uh, when I finish my round with second color uh, doing that last single crochet um, I would I prefer to insert my hook in the space next to this first one so not in this beginning space but this one so it's up to you i just think that it's not this way it's not crowding this space here and it's easier to slip stitch into the beginning one so it's up to you just one thing that i do here my way so here's my last single crochet to complete that corner pull up loop then bring up your main color yarn over and pull through, through loops and then slip stitch in first single crochet starting next round chain three two double crochets in same stitch And now just double crochets all the way to the next corner. If you want to count, it's going to be 17. And then again, you do five in the corner stitch. So I count 
the double crochets in the beginning but to be honest I don't count them afterwards because the rounds and sides are getting just too big and uh, when I made my first blanket uh, I stopped counting pretty quickly and I always uh, did the correct amount of stitches I never had to go back so let's finish this round now with last two double crochets again I'm going to insert my hook here next to this beginning chain make the first one here yarn over insert in the same and now join your second color yarn over with both pull them both through yarn over both pull through first two loops then leave your main color in the back yarn over only with second pull it through last two loops and then slip stitch in third beginning chain we can start this next round same as before chain and two single crochets in first stitch then make four one two three four next is the drop double crochet and after this single crochet five again drop So you can keep track these uh, middle ones they have to align on this uh, round in the third round here uh, after this second one again single crochet five so on this round we make three drop double crochets on each side And between them we crochet five and then after last one before corner we again single crochet four then three for the corner after corner also four And then again drop double crochet then five single crochets drop stitch five single crochets drop stitch before corner four single crochets after corner also four single crochets and I added a few more rounds to show you the colors it's just such a lovely yarn this lion brand landscapes with these vibrant beautiful colors so now I'm just gonna continue adding many many more rounds and I will show you my finished blanket I finished now uh, working with uh, lion brand landscape yarn and I managed to make 21 rounds with it and cut off yarn and also I made 21 rounds with my white yarn and I ended with white now I'm only going to add one more round of single crochet stitches for the border because uh, this pattern is uh, busy enough and lots of colors here so I want to add a simple border uh, this last uh, round with white color before the border round 
because because we earlier um, changed to our uh, colorful yarn here we don't need to do this anymore we just um, have to add this one more single crochet so no change of color and slip stitch in the first single crochet and for the last round chain one like before single crochet in that same stitch and single crochet one more in same stitch uh, we still want to make three single crochets in corner stitches so again as before we start with two here for that corner and then single crochet in each next stitch including that spike stitch just a single crochet in it Here are my three corner single crochet stitches. So we'll do one in the first, three in the middle, and one in the next. And then continue single crochet in each stitch. And I'm back to the beginning. We just have to make one more single crochet here. So this corner will also have three. And then slip stitch in our first one. And cut off. weaving the ends and here is my finished throw I hope you have fun making your own you will find the link to written pattern in video description box thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting